Hi, I'm Ron Calhoun with MSU Extension. You know, as we get into the summertime, we're going to find that some of our lawns are going to get a little bit dry. So you might decide that you want to irrigate that lawn to try to keep it green and growing throughout those summer months. You know, whether you have a nice in-ground irrigation system or whether you have the manual sprinklers that you're going to be chasing the hose around the yard, there's some tips that work for everybody. The first is, you never want to put more water on than what's going to go beyond the root system of your turf. So the taller your turf is, the more water you can put on at any given time. If you have a very short mowing height, you're going to have to water more frequently with a smaller amount. The second thing is, try to water during the cool of the day. So this would be in the morning, maybe before your municipality has their peak water use. So you can get that water on and into the soil before the wind can blow it around or before the sun can evaporate it off of the turf. You're going to get more use of that water if you can get it into the soil before the heat of the day. And finally, there's the option of not watering at all. Cool season grasses have a natural response that's called dormancy. That means they go brown in the summertime. It's completely natural and it's not dead. As a matter of fact, when temperatures cool off in August and we get a little bit more rain, all of that grass will come right back. So you can chase a hose, you can have a system, or you can relax.